Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. And as soon as I went to say hello, my stomach went growl every time I record. Anyway, I am so glad you're here. Thank you so, so much for clicking on my video. It looks like a crazy mess on my table. And it sort of is, but it's an organized mess, if you know what I mean. I would like to invite you to uh, take a screenshot if you'd like, because if you see any of the jewelry that you like, this is how you would purchase. Send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please, please, please send me these four pieces of information. I will need the name of the video and its episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, and you can get those by pausing your video. And I'm seeing all kinds of new things on YouTube that you can do during the video, which is very exciting. And I would like to add those things as we go along in the next few videos. So really exciting about timestamps and things. Also, a brief description of the pieces that you love and the prices that were given. Okay, so thank you very much for that. And if this is your first time, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, see what you think of this video, maybe look at a few others, and see if you want to subscribe. And if you like this 45-pound bag of ShopGoodwill.com jewelry and what's coming out of it, then you might want to subscribe so you don't miss the next video or the next episode. And you'll be able to find all of my videos and episodes if you subscribe to the channel and you click on the tab video. So there you go for that. As far as people being notified when my videos post, I think the issue has been that you have to make sure that your device allows notifications. So I'm so happy for you, Frida, that you figured out how to get your notifications. So excited. So thanks for letting me take time to do that. I wonder if I should move my little microphone a little closer because I tend to not speak that loudly. So this is the bag that we are working on. It's bag number two of four big bags that came in the box. So 45 pounds, four big bags, and this is bag number two. And it has a lot of metallic jewelry in it, so it takes longer than the other bags usually do. So I've got as far as I can until I have to untangle. See all this? It's just a lot of, yeah. So I went to do my untangle video, but there were enough pieces to take off the top that I thought, why don't I do a video, an episode in between, of the pieces that I found and show you what I got and give you some prices. So I'm going to put this hefty thing aside And look for my next video to be the untangling, which will be sort of like an ASMR type video where I'm untangling, not really showing the pieces that much. And um, then I'll show them on the next video. So I hope you'll join me for that. Now, this is what I did with the jewelry that came off the top and some of the pieces that we've already seen. And I cleaned them up a bit. I did my research. So now I have all the info I need to give you some prices on these pieces at least. So let's get into that. Doesn't it look yummy? So pretty. So I'll put this to the side. Let's see, how can I do this? And take pieces as they come off the tray. Yeah, let's do it that way. So I wanted to do this for quite a long time. So I thought this is a really good opportunity to do this. I bought these pens because I saw a YouTube video about them quite a while back, and they're pens that you can use to touch up jewelry. Um, I've never used them on any jewelry that I've sold or anything like that, but I did want to try them on camera with you and see what we think of it. So we have these very beautiful earrings that I took out of the bag, I think in the last episode. I really think they're gorgeous. They had a little bit of um, I don't know what it was. It was just kind of a metal buildup. It's all clean now, but there's a little spot there, as you can see. Now, let me just polish this area up a little. So this is the whole thing with these pens. You're supposed to be able to touch up the jewelry, and I don't know how it wears 
after you put it on. I don't know how it wears, like does it stay on for a long time? No idea, but I just thought I would try this while I was with you guys, and we'll see what we think. So you're supposed to shake them up. I've used them like on little things here and there, but nothing um, too serious. So let's see what we think. So I guess you push this tip down and the paint comes out. Let's see if I can get nice and close. And let's see if it looks any good on there. So I figure, what do I have to lose? I've taken off whatever that rusty stuff was, and now there's like a spot on it that's kind of worn. And yeah, I don't know. It's still, you can tell something happened there, but it's nice and clean at least. I mean, is that the point? I don't know, like how do you get it shiny? Maybe you don't. And then this one is right here up by this part, right up there, can you see that? Just looks like a little bit of copper. I mean, I cleaned these really hard to get that spot off. So whatever plating is on here is pretty fantastic because it took a long time to get through it. I'm sorry, it took a long time to get through whatever that was on there, but it didn't really go through the metal. And when it did, it took a lot of scrubbing to get there. So I'm going to buff this area a little bit. So that's what this one would look like here. I guess I'll just let them dry. Again, I have nothing to lose. This one doesn't look as shiny as I had hoped. And it's supposed to be kind of a shiny color. So I just always wanted to try that. I'm going to put these aside. They are so pretty. At least they're very clean and very wearable, but I'll have to see. And I also have this other silver pen, and I have another piece of jewelry. I wanted to try it on. Let's see. It's this set right here. So I found the earrings throughout the unboxing. They're so pretty. These rhinestone square shape. I'll come closer here. Closer and closer. Um, yeah, I did clean them up, but I still see a little something there. So sorry about that. It takes a long time to clean the pieces. So I'll get the rest of that off. It's, it's coming right out and it's kind of soft. But my point is we have the matching earrings and the necklace. I cleaned the necklace off too. And it looks great, and I thought there'll probably be some people that'll like this. But I think on the back, just a teensy beensy wit bit right there, there's just a little bit of copper. Just on the corner, I mean, it's not even a big deal. But I thought, why not try the pen and see what happens? And also, you would know that I've touched it up with the pen, which is important for me that you know. So let's see, this one has a little bit of copper showing here. Let's see if this is going to come out. Yes, it's coming out. That looks good. And then to touch up the tip right here, that looks kind of good. I like this one. This color is much nicer. Um, Let's see, now I can't let it go. Do any of the others need it? No, I think that's the only one that really needs it. So I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens. If any of you use these pens or have used them, let me know what you think. I know for me, if I ever use these, I would always disclose it. So just thought I would do a little practice with them and see what you think. So I'll put this aside, let it dry. And that was fun to try those things, and let's get into what I have. Okay, so first up I have this Dana Bachman braided mesh bracelet, and it's in gold and silver tone. I did not find one of these uh, for sale exactly like this at all, so it is also magnetic. It's in terrific shape. Um, but I 
am going to say 15 because I think the others that were this brand were more than that. So I thought I'm pretty safe to put the price 15 because it's really pretty. Well worth it. And where's our bracelet measure? Um, right here. So this bracelet measures about, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to, peekaboo, where are you? Um, I'd say six and three quarters. And again, the price on that very beautiful, perfect shape bracelet is 15. I'm starting to think it's a rose gold. Yes, it is. It's a rose gold tone, yellow gold tone, and silver. Very pretty. So that's that one. Next we have, this is very sad. I guess some of the inlay is coming out of this brooch. This is a vintage, I think a Mexico silver. And it has a signature of like an eagle. Um, I'll try to show you with this. So I know that these are becoming harder and harder to find. They're very collectible. So I'm thinking to still sell this because people that make this type of jewelry, they'll know exactly how to fix that. It's a beautiful brooch. Someone already did all this tur turquoise. Yes, all this turquoise, but all this sterling silver work. And I will say, I'll say $15 on that. And I'll put it in something. It's not like this is flaking off at all because I washed it, cleaned it, didn't come off. But anyway, that's that one. Next, I have. Ooh, this is pretty, right? Look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? So I did do a Google search, and this came up as Janice with Swarovski Crystal. So that's the name of this brooch. I have really big hands, and look at this. It's like filling up my hand. It's pretty big. It measures four and a half inches long and about three and three quarters wide. From what I can tell, the crystals are all there. It's a lot of crystals, so it's hard to really know every single one, but it's in great shape, a beautiful rose. And let's see. These were listed, we're going for 58, and I will say 25. So let me know if that's what you like, the Janice brooch for 25. Next, I have these earrings. I remember showing these on, I think, the initial unboxing. They're in beautiful shape. I think I was going to test them for sterling, and I didn't. I know this part isn't. Let me get my magnet and see. Oops. And I think that's why I was going to test them, because they don't stick to the magnet. So let's find out if the wires are sterling, because I know for me that's important. I have to know if something is sterling or not in order for it to not bother my ears. So we'll at least test that part. I'm not thinking this part is, um, it does feel like it's, feels like rhodium plating, but I can't be sure, but it, they're beautiful, and I love those rhinestones in there, so let's at least see what the, what the earring wires show. Again, I'm not sure if that's the card they came on either, so I can't really go by that. And they are not sterling, but like I always say, it's good to know, and it doesn't mean it's not beautiful. So that's our cross earrings. I did get a lot of feedback on these, so I think you'll be happy to know these are available, and I'll say 14 on these. Next is so cute. Look at this bracelet, and I can't find one anywhere. I Google searched and there's absolutely nothing that I'm finding exactly like this bracelet. It's a nice rich gold tone with black hearts that are acrylic and it has a fancy toggle 
It's in great shape and it's just so designer looking, isn't it? They're faceted acrylic black hearts on this rich gold tone. And I couldn't find anything at all. I don't see a maker's mark. So I am just gonna measure it, let you know what I think on that. Very fancy looking. Now, when you measure these toggles, or these bracelets with toggle clasp, you have to make sure everything's laying properly. See what I mean? Or you might get the wrong measurement. I might have to lay it flat and measure it because it's, yeah, it's giving me trouble there. So let's do that. But right now it's six and three quarters. Let me open it up and see what it does on the, on my measure tape that is taped to my table. So if you wonder how I go away and come up with a measurement, that's how. And yeah, it's seven and a half inches. It's very hefty. It's super cool. And I'll say $16 on this. I can't find anything like it. So that's that one. Next is this silver tone bracelet. Um, I cleaned the inside of it, so whatever touches your skin is going to be super clean. It just is a nice looking piece. Pretty good and hefty um, cuff bracelet. And it gives that nice already um, like tarnished or patinaed silver, sterling silver look to it. It's probably a six and three quarters. And I'll say six dollars on that. Nice looking for sure. Now, the brooch, the the cameo brooch. I don't think it's shell. Um, it is pretty. It could be a pendant or a pin. The pin part does work well. Let me just check again. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. So it's a little stiff, but I think that's just because it was sitting. Let me try it again. It's a little stiff. So just keep that in mind. It's probably catching on the pin a little and then closing. But anyway, I will do this Cameo pin pendant for 18. Let me know what you think, because I've never sold one at all. The others that I have that are real, I still haven't listed those. So They're a difficult thing to learn about but we've got to do our best here's another bracelet i could not find but i'm sure some of you will totally love it and maybe someone will know who the maker is really big life preserver clasp it's in good shape does have a teensy bit of wear not bad and you have all these c theme things on it all of these pieces so it's like a big charm bracelet some pretty colors on this end as well. Nothing missing from what I can tell. And it measures over eight inches. And, oh yes, I see. So you can adjust it right here. So it can get quite small, like seven to over eight inches. So, can't find that one, but it's awfully cute. And I will say 18 on this. I'm going to put it back in my little bag. I, I hate this little baggy thing, you know, but sometimes I have to do them. They're just hard for my hands to open and close. Um, here's another beautiful bracelet, a Dana Bachman. Let's measure it right away. It is six and three quarters, and this is so pretty. It has different color metals, um, yellow gold and silver tone. And I think it's a faux pearl. I'm not gonna put it against my teeth, so. And these beautiful bezel set or rivoli, whichever way you wear it. And some more crystal beads, some coins. It's a beautiful piece. Magnetic clasp. You do know what it measures already. And these are, I think they go for 30 or they went for more and I'm supposed to charge 30, but I'm gonna put this one for, 
Uh, I'll do 22 on it because sometimes I can't remember if I'm supposed to take that price down. So $22 on this Dana Bachman Wonderful Condition Bracelet. Guys, I wanted to sneak this in there because I wanted to show you what I made, okay? So I love this crochet person. She has a channel called Just Vintage Crochet, and I've been really enjoying her videos. And she recently had an 1880s hat pattern that she did online, and I followed along, and I used all merino wool. This is called Aurora 8 Merino Wool, and it folds up this way. So you do this whole hat in 1880s pattern, those little yarn pieces. And look at that, isn't that cool? I, I just, I couldn't believe I did it. And then she didn't really have a flower to make at the end. So I went off and created my own kind of flower with another type merino yarn and I stitched up these leaves. I hope you'd like it. And it gets cinched in the front and it's a truly 1880s pattern. And it's so cute on, I really should show you uh, myself with the hat on because it really looks cute on. So I hope you like that little show and tell. My grandson is here and he was in the room, he is in the room playing with his cousin on a iPad. I'm not sure if you heard him coming through, but he's here if you do hear that. So next we have this Reed and Barton gorgeous cuff bracelet. There's your signature in there and it says Damascene on it. it has this beautiful rose uh, design motif don't know if it's inlay it does feel like it's inlay but it's so pretty I did look up what they go for they sell for about 30 so I'm gonna say 20 on this one and it measures about six and three quarters and I'm sure you can adjust it a bit too but it's in just about perfect condition so Reed and Barton Damascene bracelet like brand new Hope you love that one. And if some of you are looking for my matching jewelry bags video tonight, I am gonna try to put one on tomorrow night and do like New Year's Eve jewelry bags. So that should be fun. I do hope I can get to that tomorrow. Next, I have another bracelet. The bracelets were easy to get off of the top of all that jewelry in that bag. So that's why we have so many in this one. This is so pretty. When I saw it, I just, oh, I just gasped. It does look like marcasite. Let me see if they are. Yes, they are real marcasites. And that's enamel. I have no idea of the age of this because it does have this fold over magnetic clasp. It does appear to be in sterling silver plating. Um, it's beautiful. I have no idea I couldn't find anything like it, so I'm going to say $20 on this one. And did we measure it already? I can't remember. It measures about seven and a quarter. Just so pretty. So, so snazzy. So I hope you love that piece. Next I have, oh, remember I showed you this bracelet. This is so hefty. So now I know that some of the charms are Weight Watchers charms. This is all sterling silver, every bit of it. So these three square, well, almost square, these three charms are Weight Watchers, I believe. But these two giant apples are so heavy and beautiful. Look at how the leaf moves. This says Mentor on it. You could you, know, you could even take that leaf off and still have a beautiful apple charm if you don't want it to say mentor. But this one says mentor as well. They're just so heavy that I thought if you didn't need these charms and you wanted to wear the bracelet, let me do it this way. You know what I mean. If you wanted to wear it with the apples, you have a gorgeous vintage, very heavy duty bracelet with these apples and they're still positioned right in the right place to wear it as a charm bracelet. So a lot of sterling here. 
getting my scale so I can show you how much. So what I did with this in order to come up with a price was, I'm trying to think of what someone told me about this scale. Um, I went on and I priced the, the charms individually and then the bracelet and put all those prices together and that would have come to 175. So if you took this apart and sold everything separately, it would be 175 that you could get back if you were to resell. Oh, it looks like there was a charm here too, so there's a little extra sterling disc if you need it. Um, so what I did was I took the price to 65, because if you just bought this piece alone, this big hefty vintage double link charm bracelet, it would be 65. And then you're getting these really heavy apples and maybe you can use those or sell them. But the whole entire thing, let's see, it's supposed to go two grams. It's 37.5 grams. So I'm gonna put that under the weight. So I hope that is helpful. I tried my best to come up with a way to price that. Big, heavy duty. Beautiful sterling um, bracelet, and I'll show you the lobster claw and all the markings. Everything's marked, everything's sterling, and let me know what you think on that nice piece. These are so funny. This cracked me up. <laughs> so I'm looking at these earrings, and I'm thinking, gosh, that's a beautiful purple stone in there, wow. And then I'm looking at the earring, I'm testing it all, and I'm like, oh, well that broke, that's not good. And then the stone falls out, and I'm thinking, oh, now I'm gonna have to glue this and, and fix it and yada yada. And then I came to the other one, and it did the same thing, and then when I looked on with the uh, loop, I saw it says Joan Rivers. So all of that just to tell you that this is a pair of Joan Rivers interchangeable earrings. And they have another clear crystal right there too. So aren't they pretty? So you can open them up, obviously, and you can put the different color rhinestones in there that you want to wear. Now I know this one so far, we only have the purple stones for these. But I do see these sell because people want the starter earrings or maybe they lost the earrings and they have all the stones or vice versa. So this is the very fair price I found on these is $35. I see them go for about $45 just for the one pair with maybe clear stones and I thought these are purple. That will be better. I'll take the price down to $35 for Joan Rivers interchangeable earrings. So. Yeah, that was kind of funny. This is really cool. There's some really old, old sterling silver in this lot, and I'm excited about it. And we still have two giant bags to go. This is a really old typewriter. Look, everything works on it. Isn't that so sweet? It's so cute. It's on the original card. It's sterling silver from Wells. And it's just precious. It's in great, great shape. So that's that one. And they sell for about 35 And I'll say 20 on this. Solid sterling typewriter charm or pendant. You could wear it as a pendant. I took this bracelet off the top too. This is a Stella and Dot crystal Rivoli style with the pointed part of the stone pointing up. And look at how beautifully it's made. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a silver tone marked Stella and Dot bracelet. And it's a very smoky gray type color crystal, sorry, color crystal. Um, it's beautiful, it's in wonderful condition. It does look like it's never been worn. You could wear this on all kinds of different rings there. So it's very sizable. And the largest it could get to is seven and three quarters. So I also looked these up, came up with a fair price. 
They sell for 35. They may be called Amelie, but I'm gonna price this one at 20. So hope you like that beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Next is a pair of Avon earrings and a beautiful pink to purple stone. And I took these and cleaned them up and they came out great. They do have Avon back and I think they are like one, two, three parts. So you could take them off and switch all these things around and they're just pretty vintage, great quality Avon. And I will say 15 on those. Next, oh my heart just skipped a beat when I saw this. Okay, I'm just gonna show you, I'm not even gonna say much. Look at this necklace, okay? Oh my gosh. It's not just a mesh necklace. It's a, it's that um, brushed gold tone over a mesh, oh my heavens, it's so beautiful. And there's the name on it, it's Napier. It's absolutely stunning, I'm dying to keep it. So I'm gonna see how the price and the selling of it goes before I keep it. Uh, I'll let you guys tell me what you think first. So there you go, it's absolutely stunning. Now these are one of the better Napiers that they make. The prices were upwards around $95 for this piece. So others must find it as gorgeous as I do because that's the price that is going for. This measures 18 inches, and I'm not gonna price it at 95. I'm gonna price it at 55 and see what you think. It's so beautiful, it's in excellent condition, and it may be a catch and release. It may come up in the future jewelry bag, or someone might just snatch it up before this video is even over. So send me your emails as soon as you can if you love that one. Gorgeous, that was so exciting. Also, we better get these out here so you can get them in time for Christmas. This is a really beautiful Talbot's Christmas tree brooch, obviously. It sold for $49.50 originally. They are going for about $35, pretty steady online, and I'm gonna say 16. I'm sorry, going for 25, and I'm gonna say 16. So I think that's one that you'll have for a very, very long time to come. And I believe it's also marked inside, which is nice. Let me just take it off of here so we can take a peek. Yep, it's marked right inside as well. So lovely brooch, all marked and, oh, I could have just, that's so smart. I love how they put that on there. Um, all signed and will last a very long time. So, very pretty Christmas brooch. What's that island? Okay, what's next? Next, next, next. So many things, I just don't know what they are. I know they're earrings. Um, I tested this part of them, and they do come up like a low silver, but I just can't be sure. So, we have this pair of silver tone earrings with these beautiful filigree type um, silver tone kind of metal balls on them. They're so cool looking. And don't know what to say about these, so I'll just say 15. Um, you know what, I'll do 12 on these. I don't know why I'm just feeling 12, so $12 on those. I hope you're having a great week and that you're excited about the weekend. I know I am. This is a little brooch um, with scarab uh, stones on it. They are all glass. They are made to imitate all different stones like jade and rose quartz. It's a cute little round pin. I don't see any maker's mark, but the colors are pretty and it's in great shape. And I'll say six dollars on that. And they're nice and prong set too. I tested those and they're glass. Now, not sure if there's any interest in this, but it is cute. It's in great shape, the chain. It has this little heart pendant, not sure who the maker is. Silver tone, 
great shape on the chain and then it comes to this really pretty on one side I think that looks like music so I'm not sure what it's about but it does open up and it has this cute little watch in there so just thought I'd show you that offer it to you for six dollars and see what you think next remember I said I couldn't wait to clean this up well I cleaned it up somewhat I don't want to clean it too much because you know you don't want things to start getting ruined but it came out great with just a light cleaning the rhinestones go all the way to the neck and then you have this extender it is by this designer which I didn't look up but I have seen it before with the sword so I did get to clean that up I don't know if there's going to be earrings to match to come up on this in this video in this box but we'll see right so let me measure this so you can know what that measures probably should have saved this for my tomorrow night uh, New Year's Eve jewelry sets so six sorry six and a quarter what am I talking about <laughs> doing two things at once it is yeah it's surprising me because it's 13 inches to here okay but then you have another four inches so 13 and then four more inches on the rhinestone it's black glass and rhinestone pretty how it comes up here to like a little ribbon style and am I seeing one missing oh I'm so glad I saw it on the video it's still okay I really think it's okay because I mean I did, almost didn't notice it so there's one missing there and I see one missing there so I do apologize for that but I'm really glad I saw it now but it's still well worth it it's a beautiful piece and I'll say 15 on that and there's the back all cleaned up and all ready for New Year's this is I believe they're called panther chains p-a-n-t-h-e-r it does not have a signature but it's in great shape and it moves very nicely where is my buster come on buster boy we need you to show us this necklace it just moves really cool it's got some good weight to it it's gold tone and it does have the slightest bit of wear just a bitty bitty bit can you see just on the edge right there otherwise it's in good shape I do believe it's an older piece and what just made very very well look how that moves Isn't that so sweet so that's our next necklace and this one isn't so easy to measure but I'll do it it's about 18 inches so we've got that piece and I will say $12 on that beautiful gold tone mesh or panther chain okay next Ooh, I knew I was gonna feel silly when I saw what this was called when I was trying to read the name on the earlier video I couldn't make it out it looked like a bunch of O's but it's a Dodds it's a Dodds brooch someone said from 1965 or something and this is called watermelon glass or watermelon crystal I did clean it up and it's so pretty so these are like a deep yellow these are green and then the middle stone can you see all the colors so beautiful I did look it up they are $65 and more all day long they really do sell well I really didn't find that many so they're not that available from at least from the places I searched so I am going to price this at 50 but I think 65 is a good steady price, but I'll do 50 and hopefully that gives you a little room to resell if you do that or to just enjoy it at a little bit less price. So hope you're happy about that one. Very exciting. And this one, when I first unboxed it, I didn't see the maker mark on the back, but when I was looking closer, cleaning it up a bit I saw the name Lesnar right there 
Kind of hard to see on these, isn't it? But this is in such beautiful condition. I don't think anyone ever wore it. I don't know. There's just no wear on it. It's in great shape. The stones are all there. So it's a beautiful Lisner. And I love how they have a little bit lighter shade here and here. And then the others are darker. So I am going to price this for the condition it's in, which is wonderful. And let's see. I found smaller ones, smaller, not as big as this, um, with less rhinestones for 65. This is a larger one in much better condition, and I'm saying 45. So I hope that's a really good price for someone. If you fell in love with it, there it is. Listener, okay? So it's a lot of uh, time to clean and price things, but I'm happy to do it, and that's what I'm here for. This is so cute. Oh, it's a little sterling silver ring. This is probably 14 karat gold, but I don't have the heart to scratch it, and it's not going to change my price. So, But this part is sterling. I do believe there's a mark inside. It's just a little worn off. I did test it. It is sterling, and I'll say 15 on this. And again, that's probably, most times they do vermeil, which would be gold over sterling. Or maybe the whole piece is gold, I don't know. But let's see what size it is. My voice is a little bit kind of scratchy. It's almost a size 9. It's really cute, very comfortable to wear. I wore it for a little bit. So, hope you like that. Oh, and that brings me to this one. Isn't this cute? It's a little silver bead ball ring. I just thought that was so cool, you know, for us that are into the bead ball bracelets and all of that sterling and that's bead ball. This is so cute. It is sterling silver. I'm going to wear it for now. I'll let you know if it's available, but isn't that so cute? I just thought I'd show you that. Oh, and this one too. So this came off the top of the pile and I ran and washed it and put it on my wrist because I was like, oh. <gasps> filigree hearts. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. But I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. The reason I'm not pricing it yet is because if you look at it this way, there's a one heart. Look at that open in the middle. So pretty. One here. But then there's one over here. So I think we might find one more heart in the bag. Mark Sterling. So I'll keep you posted on that. I'm wearing it until we find the other heart. Okay. Next is this brooch that I would say, I'm not going to say what kind of bird because I don't want to be wrong, but it is rhinestone and it is um, enamel, beautifully done, and it's in great condition. There's no signature on it, but look at the condition, really nice. I think that would be gift condition. And I'm going to say 15 on that pretty little guy. Next are these Silka earrings, and I do see these on for sale. I'm not sure of the company, but I'm pretty sure these are 18 karat gold electroplate because you see the 18E right here. So they do test 18 karat, but I don't think it's solid. I think they're probably electroplated, and they have these little black, maybe wooden balls on the ends. And I'll say $8 on those. Next, we have these. Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get Buster on this one. Come on, Buster boy. I still need to take the time to get that ink off. Okay, I'm gonna show you the maker mark first. It's a Monet piece. There's your tag. And just check this out. It's a gorgeous pink crystal on gold tone Monet necklace. It is the newer Monet, but it doesn't make it any less gorgeous. So just a beautiful piece. Gold tone, pink crystals, perfect shape. I don't see anywhere, anywhere on it at all. And this measures 18 inches with another inch extension. And these, I looked up the price, they're about 45, 
and I'm going to price this one at 30 So you got the pink one. Isn't that pretty? And then I also have a blue one that is on silver tone. Also a Monet. Also crystal. I guess you'd call that station set where they're set in different places. So it's also foiled back, which makes them very shiny. And there's the blue one with the silver tone. Just so lovely. I'm very happy about the condition again. Just perfect and signed. And I'll measure it just in case you never know. It is 18 with another inch extender. And again, 45 they go for, and I'll do 30. So I hope you love that. I thought it was so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. And let's see how our project is doing. I'm bringing you along with my projects. So this is that silver tone necklace that I touched up with that paint. Let's see. It's perfectly dry. Um, yeah. Is that the one I did? Oh my, which one did I do? This is the one. So it is dry. It's not as shiny, shiny as the other part, but at least you don't see that little bit of copper, if it matters. So that was fun to try that. I'll show you the necklace and the earrings again. It's really pretty. I like all that shimmer. And I love that it's a matching set. Let me measure the necklace now that it's all dry and ready to go. It's 16 inches with another three inch extender. Matching earrings. Lovely snake chain. I'll show you the earrings on the back. They do look older, don't they? And I will say $12 for the set, okay? So I'll have to find a little bag to put those that in so I can remember that. Hmm. Let's see, I'll just take this one. No, I won't. I don't want to take that one. I will keep it together. So, oh, I haven't even been able to, to let you all know about um, the PayPal invoices that I have mentioned it before, but I wanted to say again that you don't have to have a PayPal account in order to pay a PayPal invoice. So I do invoice through PayPal. And some of you have said, oh, I need to go update my PayPal account, but you don't. You'll just get your invoice in the email and you'll have different ways to pay it. You can pay by a debit card or credit card. And okay, next on the next necklace. This necklace is called Envious. And it's a beautiful gold tone, um, nice Brolo chain. Again, excellent condition. I love to say it. It's a nice long necklace. It has this beautiful crystal on it. Just gorgeous bezel set. And this is a piece of undyed halite. Isn't it nice to see halite in its natural state? Or maybe it's magnesite. And we never know which one it is. And then this really cute dangle gold tone. Super condition. Isn't that a pretty piece? So that measures 28 inches with another 3 inch extender. So 28 plus inches. And this one, I'll say $12. There you go on that. I'm so happy that I was able to make a video with some prices because I wasn't sure how I was going to handle all that in-between stuff. This set is just pretty. The other one that I unbagged sold immediately. It's not exactly like this, but it's similar. And again, this is probably, I, I would think it's magnesite, dyed magnesite stone because to me, the Howlite has a gray vein where this one has a brown, but it's pretty. It's on a silver tone chain, obviously new on whatever card it is. It's not saying it's anybody. 
It's in great shape. Matching earrings, you can't beat that. And let's see if I can measure this. Let's see, I'm gonna have to open this up just to see what's going on in here. Oh, it's okay. Here's our lobster clasp, so I'm safe with that. So it's going to be a little hard to measure. I would say it's about, hmm, I'd say it's about 20 inches with the fully extended, but it's so hard to tell with that curve there. But isn't that pretty? And I will say 18 on this set. Very lovely, brand new condition. Okay, next we have these sterling silver earrings and they are so cool. They are marked JCM 925CZ. So I thought that's cool. They tell us that they already, they already tell us they have cubic zirconias, but who would know? They look like diamonds, don't they? They're very beautiful. And from what I know, this JCM designer has a name that I'm just going to show you because I can't pronounce it. So Jack Meal something. That's the JCM on those. And I did see quite a few other pieces with that exact initials and that name. So they are beauties. Pierced earrings. They're pretty good weight. And they clip that way. And they have all those fancy little signatures on them. And they're Let's see, I don't want to pull it too tight. Yeah, so they don't come out real easy so that you lose them. But I just hate to pull on things, so I'm probably seeming so ginger with it. So that's those. And let's see, they sell for uh, 55, but these are heavier. So I saw hoops that sold for 55 from this designer did not have cubic zirconias and were not as heavy. But I'm gonna do mine for 35 that are heavier with the cubics. So I hope that helps. I hope that's fun and it's exciting. So that's those, very nice earrings. Next is this so beautiful AB Crystal Tennis Bracelet. A little sad because it has one stone missing and it could be in the bag, I don't know. It's right there near the end, so it might not matter. I did want to, um, what was I gonna say about this? I did wanna what? I did wanna wait till I find the stone, I think. I think so, that's my maybe what I was gonna say. Oh, I know why I'm bringing it on. It tests as low silver, so I'm not sure what to think about that. Do you guys have any input on that? Um, it does test in a little bit of a blue range, and that's what it looks like on the back. So until I find the other stone, I thought I would bring it on and ask that question. That's what I was doing. The coach necklace, wow, these go for a lot. I'm going to wait to see if we have the matching earrings, because these are very collectible and very well loved. Um, I saw those selling for a lot, so I'm going to wait on that one. Next, let me show you this one next. So obviously a Santa brooch. I think this is a nice older one and really good quality. I don't think you find this kind of quality today. I could be wrong, but it does appear to me to be nice thick enamel paint and of good quality. It really makes me think of, um, oh, what's that gold jewelry that's signer. It makes me think of a signer company because the back of their piece is usually textured like that, but it's not signed, it's just good quality. So if you're looking for a brooch, green rhinestones are there, really good shape, will last a long, long time. I would say 18 on him, just because I think it's gonna be in your jewelry box for a long time from the quality. Let me know what you think on that, okay? Okay, next, almost done is our Sarah Coventry brooch, and it has a beautiful faux pearl. Probably that does test as real stone. Gold tone, Sarah Cove, signed on the back right there. Really, really good condition. 
I love to say that. I love to give you the stuff that's in good condition. And I'll say just $12 on the Cerakote. Nice brooch. This is a lot more brooches in this lot, I think, towards the back of the bag, and we'll see. So let's see. This bracelet is just cute with some pink enamel. It's a cuff. Um, I don't see any signatures. It's about a size seven. And it's cute, it has some, does this one have the rhinestones on it too? I thought I might have seen them. No, it doesn't have rhinestones, but that's the condition. Pretty good condition. And I'll say, four dollars on that cute cute piece this is another older fold over clasp bracelet um, that seemed to me to be a low grade silver but I can't be sure this one though has yeah the fold over clasp has um, purple glass and clear glass rhinestones so I tested those on the Miss Prissy and they are glass Meant to look, I'm sure, like amethyst and diamond. And it's a really cute bracelet. Meant to look very fancy, and I think it does. Size six and a half. And I have seven inches as what it measures. But let's see, what am I doing for price on this? Um, I'll say $10 on that. Okay, so 10 on the purple rhinestone bracelet. This is so exciting. So I was watching a YouTube video and the girl was talking about finding Thomas Mann pieces of jewelry in her lot. And she said she couldn't believe the prices of them. So I went online to look up Thomas Mann. I couldn't believe the prices on them. And then I go to do my untangling video and I pull this bracelet out and I'm looking at it I'm like okay that's cool it's silver tone it's kind of brass and then I see this mark in it and it's the Thomas Mann am I saying it right Thomas Mann mark I mean the same day that I learned about him I found one I thought that was really unusual so there's the mark it's on every one of the links and it's just so exciting. So Thomas Mann made pieces that were, oh, you just have to go online and see them. If you don't uh, know the designer, you gotta go see them because it's amazing. And they all, all sell in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They're very collectible. So unless you know Thomas Mann, you're gonna think I'm nut for this price, but these sell for 275 all day, easy. 275, 250, three something. So I'm gonna price it here. I'm gonna offer it to you guys for 160, okay? And that might seem high, but when you know Thomas Mann, it's not. So it's even a good resell piece, but it measures seven inches. The real McCoy Thomas Mann on every, um, marked on every piece. So see that? mark right there it looks like a square it's actually a t over an m or a t inside of an m and then he has another signature too that i'm not sure if it's on these but it's a different signature as well but either both of them or one of them is on all the pieces so toggle clasp so exciting they go for 275 and i'm going to say 160 it's going to be really exciting to see if someone scoops up that piece. Okay, now this is a, um, oh, what are these called? How can I not know? Alex and Ani bracelet, but it's all sterling. Look at all those beads. All solid sterling silver. So that is so super fun. I don't have to measure it because, you know, it's expandable. And look, it's thinner than the usual um, Alex and Ani bracelets, right? So that told me something too, that this piece is different. And it's just all sterling. It's pretty. It's almost like a beadball bracelet, but not. And 
I don't know how you add charms on this, but I know there's a way, because that's what they're about. So yeah, it is an Alex and Ani loaded with sterling. This one weighs 20 grams on the nose. 20 grams of silver on the nose, that's cool. And I'm pricing this one, let me write down 20 grams at $22, okay? It's a lot of silver, it is pretty. 22 I thought was good, good, good price. This bracelet, I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. I don't see any marks. Look at the fancy design on the ends and the beautiful crystal, crystallies on the ends. I wish I knew who this was. Um, I just don't, but it's beautiful. And anytime I have something like this, um, you guys buy it right up, so it must be a popular look. Seven and a quarter, maybe seven and a half. And I'll say 15 on this very beautiful, great condition bracelet. And if you know what it is, let me know. I promise I won't raise the price. If you tell me and it's somebody super duper, I'm not going to raise the price. I just want to know who it is. All right. Otherwise, we have a couple of bangles. I think I'll hold on to those for now. Oh, here's another one that's tests as a low silver content, a fold over class. So see what I mean about these? Someone must have had all three of them. This is in great condition. I do like how it moves. Um, let me measure this one. I wish it said something in it. It doesn't anywhere I can find. Make sure that closes. Hmm. Well, I may need to fiddle with that. Oh, there it goes, okay. So, if you know anything about this low silver, let me know. Seven and a quarter. Wouldn't that look pretty with the others if you wore all three? And I'll say, wait, it did come undone again. All right, I might have to just see if I can adjust the clasp a little and make it close better. Let me look at the loop so I can tell you right now if I can fix it. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, how would I do that? I'd have to think about it, folks. Um, okay, let's put it aside. I'll fiddle with it, see if I can get that fixed, okay? Now, these are pretty. It takes a lot to clean all these little earrings, but these cleaned up really nicely. Gold tone, scalloped look. Just nice pair of earrings, and I'll say five on those. Okay, I haven't told you how to purchase in a little bit, so let me take a second to do that. If you're just joining me, this is my email, so email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. I do answer my emails in the order that I receive them, except for a couple of people that are really dedicated um, shoppers with me, I do go to them first, so I hope that's exciting for some of you. I do appreciate you so much. But anyway, email me here, and please, please, please give me these four pieces of information. I do need them, or I'll have to email you back, and you may lose like some time in uh, going back and forth rather than me just saying, yes, it's available, and here I'll invoice you. So, video name, episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description of the jewelry, and the prices that I gave, okay? I know it gets repetitious for some of you, but it's really important for the new people that come along, and I appreciate it so much. Okay, and then for this pretty mesh bracelet, I cleaned this up today, and it really came out beautiful. It has a deep yellow crystal encased or encrusted ball with the mesh, gold tone mesh chain. And it's also on a stretch, but it's very pretty. I thought I'd offer it because it's just nice looking. 
And if you need to know where it sits, it's sitting at almost an eight and it has a little bit of a stretch. I just thought the shimmer was beautiful, the color's beautiful, and I'll say $6 on that, okay? Now, I put the tray aside because I wanna show you this. This really is stunning. This is a very old bracelet, and I just went back in time picturing the husband running out buying this for the wife or something. It's so old, it has to be, oh, I hate to be wrong, but I'm gonna say 1920s or 30s. And I'll tell you why. Look at the buggy, everything works on the baby buggy. Look at that, the wheels and the top goes over. It's all solid sterling and it's all in the theme of having a baby. So I'll show you all that in a minute, but I wanna get back to the the uh, clasp. It says sterling on it and it's the old type. You have to just pull it back right here like that, see? But that's a really old clasp. It's beautiful sterling silver. Look at the booties. It's in great condition. It looks like someone got it as a gift and never wore it. Look at the sterling on the booty. Oh. So here you go. A wedding band, the baby booties, the stork, the high chair that also works. Look at, isn't that so cool? And of course the baby buggy that the top flips around and the wheels turn. So just absolutely fun to find this and to look at it and to think about who would have bought it, when they would have bought it, how old it is and how precious. And the condition is just great, really great. So it's like we're getting this piece right in that time period, like in a brand new store or something. That's how I feel about it. So just very exciting. So again, I took the prices of what these go for and what the booties go for and the high chair and the stork and then what the bracelet would sell for. This is a single link charm bracelet. And the total price was about 250 if you were to take the pieces off and sell them or if you were to buy them separately. And that's not even considering how old it is. So I didn't even add the age to it. So I'm taking it to 95. So that's the price of this perfectly spaced charm bracelet in original, all original form, all sterling silver, and I hope that's so exciting. It is for me. I love it. Okay, and then I got a bag of rings. Now, I didn't really get ready for this, but I have to show you this one. This is sterling silver. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this ring. It's all sterling. It is kind of hollow. You see that little hole right there so it doesn't burst and it's marked sterling or 925. Oh yeah, it's marked with an N and a 925 and a Thailand. So now I'm thinking, isn't there a jewelry called Nadre? So I probably should hold off and price that. Let me know if you know of what that N would be. Let's see if there's some others. Look at this. This is amazing. This, I cannot for the life of me make out what it says inside. Because the loop, when you look through the loop, it only looks straight on. And the ring part's in the way. So when you try to use the loop and look straight on, you just can't see it. About the best I can do is see it at on the side, you see what I mean? Let me try to, oh. Let me get it on there bef um, on the loop and then try to bring it to camera. But it's driving me crazy. I can't figure out who. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to show you because I can't see it. But it has all kinds of marks in it and signatures. Oh, Sherry, I wish you could show them. If I could see it myself. Okay, there you go. You can see something, right? 
That's what I can't see. And then the loop doesn't get close enough. It's so annoying. But there you go. If you know what that is at all, let me know. Otherwise, I don't think it's sterling. It's very cool. It's not Bakelite. It's just that some designer made it, and it's so cool. So let me know what you think on that one. Um, let's see what else. We have, oh, there's a brooch in here. And it's this type of brooch, um, I guess a jester. Great condition, gold tone. And not seeing any signature. I'll say $4 on that. It's got some good weight to it. Um, I think the rings are going to take a while. So maybe I should do something like test them first. But it looks like I tested this one. Yes, this one is tourmaline and sterling silver. So that's a beauty. See all those colors and sparkles. So it did test nice and high tourmaline on Miss Prissy. It's marked 925. Um, and it tested for sterling as well. So I was starting to get some of these done. But it takes a while. It's about a size 7. Right on a 7, actually. And I'll say 35 on this. So pretty. Let me mark that down. 35 on the tourmaline and sterling ring. Anything else I can quickly... Oh, look at this one. Isn't that cool? It's a mood ring. Let me show you. And this is a good one. It changes very quickly. The colors in it are pretty cool. So, so much fun. It's got a great shape to it. Not marked that I can tell. Just super, super fun. Yeah, I'm going to measure it with this. Uh, let's see. It measures seven and three quarters. So fun. And the mood ring, I'll say 12 on that. Really cool, right? Starting to turn that green again already. Let's see if I can get a couple more out. So fun. Um, I got that sparkly. This big guy. If I show you too much, then I know some of you are going to fall in love with them and ask me to price them. And I don't want to disappoint you because it's hard to stop and go price things. So, okay. There's no more priced in there. I'll put the rings aside. Let's see what else I might have. Okay, I thought there's so much more to show you, but I want to be prepared with prices when I show you. So I'll leave that other stuff for now. The earring board is, <laughs> it's getting busy. See that? There's some sterling on there and some beautiful pieces. But again, it's going to take me time to clean them, go through them, show them to you as I go. So. How about let's do a craft jar named Sarah, because I know a lot of you are still crafting for Christmas, and you could be making some great things and need some pieces. Okay, so let's start with this bracelet. It's got some pink crystal on it, and some nice pieces that could be used. Put that in there. We've got a couple of filigree earrings. And as usual, I always put in the nicest, like, vintage ribbon. I think that's beautiful. Well, probably not too vintage with the lobster class, but just nice ribbon. This I found quite a while ago. It's very cool. Made with nails. Isn't that great? So we'll put that in there. And thank you so much, everyone, for your comments about what I should put in the craft jars. I was really happy to hear from a lot of you. Many of you said to put, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, put the things in there that I am because all these things can be used. So I'm so glad to know I'm on the right track with that. And I didn't want to put things in that were not appealing. But yeah, a lot of you said that, you know, as long as there's usable parts on it to put it in. So I will continue. This is very interesting bracelet just doesn't stretch very well so that goes in nice necklace um, just it looks like gold tone 
but a little worn, but nice heavy pieces, maybe bits of the chain. I don't like to guess what you'll do, but this is a nice chain too, but it has some wear. So you could use the clasp or maybe make earrings. Here is a cute tassel necklace. That's got a good chain. And that beautiful clip-on. I got the pair on one of the unboxings. But this one's a little scratched in the middle. So pretty. This is Hard Rock Cafe pin. And you can always use faux pearls for everything. And some crystals. This is, I don't know what this is. Don't know, but it's a braided acrylic something or other. I'll put that in. Let's see, I want to put some nice sparklies in. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm sad I had to put this in. This is a White House Black Market necklace. And I think, um, yeah, see how it's connected right here? That's not supposed to be. But the beads are beautiful. So that goes in. And isn't that pretty? Nice green rhinestones. A beautiful ring that's got some kind of wear on the top colors. But maybe you could paint it. And also has a sizer inside. Like, you know what I mean? That little piece right there. So that's cool. I wish they did that with all the jewelry nowadays, right? Be so much easier. So really cool piece. And all of these crystals. This must have been a necklace. So I hope you love that. We've got a brooch and oh, I'm missing the middle one. But pretty nonetheless. This is Sarah. And we've got this piece. So gorgeous, but just one. Maybe that can be a pendant. What else? What else? What else? How about these pretty blue glass beads? The little lampwork type ones. And these look like moon glow almost, but they are all glass. So it's an art glass necklace, probably station bead or something. And I just thought it was too much of a struggle if a person was going to wear it as a necklace. So I'll put this in. You can enjoy those beads for sure. Okay. All right. How about some green and silver tone? Looks like a bracelet. And some more cute beads here. I don't want to say Millefiori, but there's just some pretty beads there. And a nice blue color, cute little rose, nothing wrong with it. You can craft with it or wear it. And what else? I can probably make two craft jars, so I'll keep going and make a second one. So I've got lots of stuff, and if you're still crafting for Christmas, that could be really cool for some of you. Okay, we've got a rose gold tone bracelet. Again, nothing wrong with it, but look at that cool bead. So we'll put that in. And some orange seed beads. A little tangled up. I might just put this whole thing in there. So you've got some butterflies. Looks like it's on a vintage chain. And some orange seed beads and a pretty cool earring. So I'll put that. Oops. Okay, if that is the butterfly, then this is a different chain. Okay. So the butterflies went in, no worries. And we have this sort of concho belt. I love these kind of things. Pretty. Reminds me of my Roy Rogers. A single silver tone earring. This is cool. It's a copper letter E. It does look like solid copper on this chain. What was my issue with this? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a nice looking necklace. 
Maybe because it had an E that it sort of restricts who you can sell it to. But the chain looks to be all brass. Nice older class. That's a nice piece. So I hope that's fun. Let me see. I don't have to make a big deal of these things. Just get them out. Okay, it needs a little bit more. I like to have it really full. Lots of seed beads. Another bracelet, nothing wrong with it. But you can either wear it or craft with it. Um, and last but not least, this might be reconstituted amber, but probably not. It's probably acrylic. The leather piece is worn, but this part is really pretty. And I think this, yeah, might be one of those that comes off and you can put on. It just looked like something useful. So I'll put that there. That is our Sarah craft jar. And I will say $20 on this. So just let me know that you like the Sarah craft jar for $20. And I'll know just what you're talking about. I'll put some bubble wrap on the top, some tape so that it won't take your jewelry. And that will be that one. And then quickly, we're going to make a Penelope jar because I've got lots of jewelry. And again, if you're still crafting for Christmas, I want you to have this. This is, I guess, a bunch of chains. Silvertone, Pave Heart, and to Penelope. So this is a different jar now. And that's cute. That looks like a carved... Um, Maybe magnesite stone, can't be sure, but pretty stones for sure. This says Trafari and it's broken. So looks like we have a beautiful gold tone Trafari necklace. I think that came out of this box that I'm doing. Yes, isn't this so pretty? Oh, look at that. It's got that hook and you can you can take that ball off and you can put whatever charms you want on the Trafari necklace. But the chain broke right there. So the whole thing is here. I'll put it back in the bag because it has all the pieces to it. I just don't know how you'd fix that chain, but you guys will know. You know what you're doing. So there's your Trafari necklace. Then we have this cord that's in great condition. So perfect condition. I gotta wrap it around so I can get it in there. And this is beautiful. This I think is a Monet necklace. That type with the you know the nice diamond cut rope chain and the red running through it. But see how that red piece right there is snipped off? So there was another red piece running around the chain and it's not there anymore so it's a bummer because these are beautiful and it is also a trafari so there you go the chain is pretty you've got the name Let's see what i've got in here this is some kind of a pin we've got some gold beads We've got some earrings without hooks. Really pretty colors on that. Some bits and bobs and pieces. This looks like a nice chain with a heart on it. Has a saying on it. Oh yeah, it has a scripture on it. That's nice. It probably shouldn't have been in there, but... Okay, it's going to go now. Like I said, you can wear or you can craft. Some more bits and bobs. These, I think, um, go on your hair. But I thought they were also useful, maybe for jewelry making. This I love. I wanted to put on a necklace, but it's had a piece of tape on there. But it's just a little worn, but it's a cute piece. And this is it has a name on it. I can't think of it. Um, there was a set, but the other set didn't make it. I think it's just tarnished or something. Okay. Um, 
What else? We have this necklace with some enameling, but I think the enameling came off in some of the sections. So that goes in. And then this was a super long piece. I just started to put bits of it in each jewelry jar. Some kind of charm, single earring, bits and bobs, cute little bracelet, nice little earring, some gold tone hoops of different sizes. This, I think we talked about this quite a while ago. It's some kind of maybe bone and has a story on it. I don't know. But there you go. And some more of those golden beads. Bits and bobs. Let's see what this is. This is one of those clamper things. This just looks like a nice useful chain. Cute little earring that I only had one of. Again with that one. And here's some earring backs. This is 120th 12 karat gold filled, has an M on it, and the chain broke. But this, I mean, I guess if you have good eyes, you could fix it. But it's gold filled, and it's nice, so there you go. And I left the sticker on there so you'll know. So another one of those little bits and bobs, single earrings, pearls, some nice backs, rings, you could always use those. So that's that one. And we've got more. That's a cute earring that's going to go in. This looks like a pearl bracelet. It is also signed. But it looks like it's just got wear on the on the tag anyway. So you could use those bits, I'm sure. This is just a lovely mesh older watch thing. And what is it signed inside? It says Alcar, A-L-C-A-R, Korea. So nice. I like the older gold tone Korea necklaces and things. They're great great pieces so maybe that will be good too this looks like a little tiny dragonfly earring and a bracelet a little bit of wear on that cute cute beads nice um, scarf clip and it is signed as a teeny bit of scratch right there not bad like I would still wear it but I don't want to sell it this ring is cool it is copper base and maybe is carved something, but I can't be sure. Maybe celluloid, I think. We've got a tassel, a cufflink, and a rhinestone tennis style bracelet that has some wear on it. And this looks like a shell. And these look like shells and beads. That's a pretty earring. Some other Bitsy Bobs, really old. Screwback earring. Might be Onyx on there, I can't promise. Silver tone, little ring, single earring, green colors. And that's pretty. It's like an abalone, but I think it's faux abalone. And pink colors, rhinestones. Uh, one Winnie the Pooh, um, what do you call that, um, that kind of metal, I always forget it, ah, oh, pewter, a pewter Winnie the Pooh, pretty vintage red earring, a faux pearl, here's that other earring to match the first one we put in, but I think they were just lightweight, so, another piece of dark chain, pearl, and just bits and bobs. This is heavy. I don't know what this would be made of. The piece inside I would assume is glass. Look at it, it's mesmerizing. Like, I'm closer, closer. It's heavy though, I don't know what that means. So, yeah, that's an interesting piece. 
got some lamp work beads, some, there's your other very old screw back earring. And yeah, just some more little pieces. I like to show you everything. Sometimes I feel like I'm taking too long, but I think you like to see what's in there. And I think we can fit a little bit more. So here goes a bracelet that says Faith. You can tell I went and got more stuff. This is a really old necklace that broke and they're just the stunning beads. Oh, they're so beautiful. So let's see, I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six of those, and then this modeled glass, three of those, that way if you make earrings, you've got them. And then the other beads that went with it, one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope that's right. Um, it should be enough to make something nice. And then, oh, I have to take those off of that string. Some other sort of faux pearls and gold tone beads. Put those in. And, and, and. Okay, we need something to top it off with. Maybe that would be this piece. Oh, so these are glass pearls. They feel absolutely marvelous. It's a beautiful long strand. I'm thinking, gosh, I wish I could just put a clasp on there because that is stunning. They're really, really high quality. All right, I'm going to put it in there because someone's going to love it. They're going to have just the right fish clasp or sterling clasp to put on there and have a stunning, stunning necklace. So there you go. There's Penelope. So we've got craft jar Penelope, and this one I'm going to do 25, okay? So let me know. You love Penelope craft jar, and you'd like that one for $25. So aside goes that. I'll have to put all this stuff away. Many more really fun things to put in the craft jars. I really love to make those. Oops, and I've got this. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Isn't that cool? It's in great shape. It's a cute little pin. Nice quality. Looks very 70s. Brings back nice memories. And I'll say $8 on that pin, okay? So eight on that. Last thing I need to show you <coughs> is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry. I acquired this entire bag of these charms and I don't know what to do with them. It's every letter of the alphabet. They're silver tone. I think, what are they? Like slide on charms on those flat bracelets? I do not know, but please let me know what you think and how I should do these because, gosh, unless, you, unless you're ordering just the letters you need, look at them all. What would I do? And if I said, tell me what letters you need, I'd go crazy picking all those letters out. So I don't know what to do, but there's a lot of them in here. Every letter, as far as I can tell, it's very heavy. Let me weigh it. And maybe somebody can tell me what I should do with this as far as how to sell it or what kind of price to put on it. It's like, yeah, 500 grams. We'll do ounces instead. So 500 grams are 17.60 ounces, so over a pound on these. Let me know what you think. I don't know how to distribute those at all. So, yeah, and these go in there too. Okay, well, I'm so excited I was able to get a video out today. I hope you had a great time watching. By the way, this has two pins on it. Did I mention that? Double pin. Okay. 
So I'm gonna get my thumbnail ready, try to make the prettiest picture I can. So you'll wanna click on this video and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.